We talked about preparation. Uh, how's the international break been? Uh, yeah, we, we give the players a few days off. We charged the batteries. We had a good hard session yesterday. Um, and, you know, sometimes it's a welcome break, sometimes it isn't. Uh, I think at the time of the season, I think with a couple of injuries we had as well, I think it probably do as good. Uh, but the proof of the pudding's only in the eating and you're only going to be as good as the next game you play, which is obviously Cheltenham myself. Does it allow you an opportunity to take stock of kind of how far you've come and, and what you've achieved so far, if anything? Well, we haven't achieved anything at the moment, but it gives you the chance to to look at where you are in the league and and where you think you need to be better. Analyse yourself a bit more, which is what we have done. You know, the staff have been looking at ourselves playing as well as the opposition. And you know, we've we've got to be careful that we every time you have a good result, you don't get carried away with it. And you know me, I don't get too high, I don't get too low, and that's got to that's kind of been my mindset for the last five or six years because it did get extremely low uh, when things went wrong uh, but now I enjoy the challenge of putting them, putting things back together again and uh, as I said we've got a great set of lads who want to work hard you're halfway there if you've got lads who are keen to work uh, and hard work will never go out of fashion in football Losing players to injury when you've got a relatively small kind of core group of senior players has a massive impact I imagine is it important to try and get them all back fit and is it practical to keep them all fit all season? Well, I think it's difficult that you can, you're going to have a, a fully fit squad at any stage of the season. Uh, but, you know, we've got three or four long term that are slowly coming into the short term now. So, you know, you had Harvey running again. Uh, Joe Pritchard isn't a million miles away, Joe Hardy's on a million miles away. Uh, Joel should be back training this week, so we're going in the right direction, but it's, it's keeping him that way. It tends to, tend to rotate injuries in football clubs. I don't know why, but that's what tends to happen. As far as the players that have been playing are concerned, are play, is players coming back to fitness just another challenge for them to overcome? I think so, but you know, we... I think it's been a, a welcome boost, the under 23 is going into a league in a cup and how hard Jed and Andy work on that side of it, which then gives people a platform to go one step, next step into the first team. And the lads coming back from injuries will benefit from playing in them games, whereas we didn't really have that in the past. A few of your younger players have talked about their kind of experiences of mental health for World Mental Health Day at the weekend. Is that something you've seen change massively in your time in football? The idea that a 20, 21 year old lad's kind of happy to come out and talk about the fact they've had a hard time? It is something that's, it's changed for the better, that's for sure. Uh, I'm really proud of the three lads. Um, and again, Jed and Andy have to take a lot of um, praise for how well they meant to them as well. Um, but it is good that they can talk. I think it's good that it has come out in the open more. I think Billy Key was the flag bearer for us, uh, and I've, I've openly discussed my my problems I had when I when I was out of work, uh, and it is it is debilitating, and you know for for young lads to be able to to come out and try and meet the challenge head on, and try to do something about it, I think it's very good. Cheltenham, Michael Duff had a long playing career just down the M65 at, at Burnley. Have you been impressed with how he's taken to management? Very very impressed, and I'm sure. He's the right age um, to go on, to go on to better things. That's no disrespect to tell them. But to go on to better things, uh, young managers are vogue at the moment. And uh, I can't praise him highly enough for what he's done. I uh, watched him quite a bit last season. I've watched a bit of him this season and they're impressive. And he, you know, he's got a good squad together there. We play good football. Has he done it quite a pleasingly traditional way? Player, be a senior player? coach a bit in an academy in an under 23s and then get a job in league two and, yeah. and get the club up yeah you know when it's hard work and you know the jobs are few and far between 
It always annoys me when they say, oh, they, you know, they, they start at the very bottom in League Two. It's not the very bottom League Two at all. Uh, you know, a good friend of mine, Terry McPhillips, did a sterling job at Blackpool. Uh, and he's delighted to be back and work as the manager of Southport. And that's the type of football person Terry is. You know, he wants to be involved and that's refreshing. And these days, too many people just turn their nose up at, at work and want to stay out of work. And, you know, if you love football, you'll you'll get in no matter what and you'll, you'll do your damn best to, to do as well as you can to get where you want to go. Uh, that's in management. And, you know, people should be grateful for the opportunity to get. It's all right getting the opportunity, it's just doing something with it. Well, obviously Michael has, he's done a, a sterling job there. You'll be looking for some consistency, won't you? You had a couple of decent results before the break. Yeah, you know, we... we uh, the, the Papa John's game, you know, we're not get, getting too, too much into that. Um, because once you play proper men against boys, you get the, you get the real outcome. Um, but we did well against Ipswich, we worked hard. Uh, we've got to improve our, our form on the road, that's for sure. Uh, and if we can eliminate the silly mistakes that we, we've conceded goals from, you know, I think we're up there in the, in the, in the stats table for unforced errors leading to goals. Uh, sounds like it's a masculine in the tennis commentary, you know? um, but we are, and that's something that we've got to eliminate. And if we do, we generally defend most of the game quite well, but we just give silly goals away. You know, we were very unfortunate the Ipswich goal. Uh, when you see it again, it's a clear foul, um, and so that's a step in the right direction. How well we policed, you know. Good attacking players in Ipswich. You know, Macaulay Bonds, I think he's got nine now. Um, and we limited them to that one chance. That shouldn't have occurred anyway. So that's that's pleasing, but we've got to do it on the road now. And we've got to find a way to win away from home. And that's something that we've been focusing on this week and we'll continue to.